section. Um, this is uh, one of the series of videos looking at why we um, preserve and look after these ecosystems at risk. And today we're going to be really focusing on one um, aspect of that, and that's the intrinsic value. So by the end of the lesson, I want you to be able to explain just what that intrinsic value means and how we can use those ideas to look at reasons why we would protect um, ecosystems at risk. Let's have a look at the um, syllabus. Um, we've done a video on diversity and utility values, okay, both equally as important. And now we're right in the middle and looking at intrinsic values. So when we look at intrinsic values, we look at, at um, values towards humans. Um, okay, so everything that we've done uh, for ecosystem management is looking at those reasons which benefit humans. Um, so Let's let's get let's have a look at the first point. Um, ecosystems have a right to exist, irrespective of their value, and that's something that's really important. And you know, most people around the world agree with that statement. However, there is not an agreed mechanism or strategy by which that can be achieved. So, an example is that is it's all very well in saying that but when push comes to the shove especially when we find out that um, a particular area a particular area might have some very valuable resources say of gold coal then people in the community who own that land you know get tempted to sell those uh, resources uh, for um, sort of other um, reasons or intrinsic um, reasons. So um, that's what we, we talk about. Um, ecosystems um, are inspirational for a lot of people. Um, they're aesthetically pleasing, which means they look nice. That's what aesthetic means. And just to have spiritual meanings um, to people as well. So when we talk about intrinsic value, that's what we mean. We're not talking about money. We're talking about feelings created by those, by those um, ecosystems to people. Um, so interacting with an ecosystem, we're reminded that we are part of an independent, um, well, sorry, interdependent um, natural world. So that's what we've got to remember. We're just part of this big jigsaw, which we call planet Earth, and ecosystems have been around before and they will continue after us and that's something we've got to be um, really really conscious of um, so much so that we're now realizing that when we go to these places we've got to be respectful and i've put this example of Uluru here it's a great example um, how we should intrinsically value so obviously Uluru or Ayers Rock as it was called um, by obviously the British and that's a, a sign of colonialism and the effect on the environment. Um, obviously, for a lot of Aboriginal people, um, this is um, a very, very important ecosystem, natural feature for them, um, and it gives spiritual meaning so much so that you're not allowed to walk up on the rock because um, traditionally that's what people used to do when they used to go and visit it. But of the spiritual value of that rock to Aboriginal people. That's why we've stopped it. Um, questions, you know, sort of then come up. Why should we do that? Um, how are they going to manage that without ruining it? You know, you can't put a big fence around it. Um, so all these questions, you know, open up a lot of debate. And that's why ecosystem management is so hard um, because, you know, ecosystems have different meanings different people and there's not a set way of managing um, these ecosystems and when it comes to intrinsic values where we talk about that spiritualism you know people want to get you know be in contact with the environment so that's why it's really important that we look at you know something so controversial about shutting um, Uluru um, for people for tourists 
Uh, we've got to look at both sides of the story. We've got to look at those Aboriginal elders who tell us the story about why it's so important. And that's you know, what makes, um, you know, so George so important. So uh, that's what we mean by intrinsic values. Um, we're having something called ecotourism created more and more of an industry. And um, I hate to say to tell you guys, Year 12, Lady of the Island would have been a fantastic place to go and see because, again, we're in a very, very fragile ecosystem but visiting it and doing it on a small scale and it preserves the coral reef there so that's what we mean by that industry of ecotourism coming around we can you know still preserve these intrinsic values and i think they're becoming more and more important particularly as we start understanding becoming more educated about you know how the world used to be and you know i think that's going to be an important part for australia's future with indigenous people and um you know particularly looking at their ecosystems and their beliefs and cultures and try and preserve that while as you know still wanting to go out and visit it and and um have that fine balance um so i hope i've explained to you what um intrinsic value is um i hope you understand what that means um and yeah, that's um, it's a very, very important reason for ecosystem management. OK, um, I hope that um, you've got a better understanding of the intrinsic value of ecosystem at risk. That's the end of the video. And um, yeah, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And yep, yeah, see you soon. Bye.